Hi guys and welcome to another video from FM Life and uh, we've really jumped ahead on games and uh, I'm just going to check through the fixtures. Okay, so last time we was on, it was the Stevenage game. Now we won 3-0 and I was worried about going into this Sunderland game but as you can see we had an amazing game. They played in a really odd team, they were playing like like reserves um, I think they were just given their res look at this they were given like reserves a chance under 18 he is um, so they had an odd team out and uh, we ended up absolutely dominating that I don't think they were too bothered about the Capital One Cup it's a bit like us in the Johnstone paint we weren't too bothered so I ended up just putting out you know a team to lose at Tramia, I was hoping for a better result after the 7 0 win, but um, no, we couldn't keep the win. Rotherham, 2 0 win. I expected a win there and uh, we got it, but then we went to York to lose and, uh, well, we succeeded in that. Then we went on a four game run of no loss, which was excellent for us. Uh, Blackburn, a 3 0 win um, in the Capital One Cup. Then we hit. Carlisle and uh, you know they responded quite well to us and um, they ended up coming out of that game with a with a good win under their belt. Leighton Orion a 2-0 win and then Colchester in the FA Cup first round we won 2-1. I'm not too bothered about the FA Cup. Uh, the Capital One Cup is a uh, is a possible target <laughs> because of uh, because of us getting through so far now we may as well may as well try and see it through but I didn't know we had Tottenham we'll give it a go uh, I'm sure we can beat Tottenham uh, I'm an Arsenal fan so um, it's doable it's doable they haven't got bail so our next game Brentford it's going to be a dry match 13 degrees Celsius and uh, Brentford are favourites to win but um, Hopefully we can see about that freight them being favourites and uh, we can see out a win. Now, I didn't really know that I was seven days away from the game, so I'm going to pause the recording and I will be back at the game. Okay, welcome back and uh, we're now on the game day, ready to submit our team. I think this is the team I'm going to go for. Uh, Ismail, you know, he, he's a superb player and I think he's improving. Uh, on the field so um, he's just really been good for me uh, with that 7.39 rating who would be you know Miyashi would be the challenger and he's only got a 6.9 so Ismail will get the game Sigerson's gonna have to play due to injury of Kevin Doyle uh, there's just no one else, really. So, we've got Michael Keane on our bench on loan from Manchester United. We've got Ryo Miyashi from Arsenal. So, we've got our fair share of, of high-caliber side players. Okay, so let's get on with the game. So, as you know, we are well into the future of, of the season now. We, we've gone through quite a few games and um, we're not doing too bad. Uh, we're not doing as good as I would like to do in this season. And, um, you know, our target is promotion. We're going to fight for it. And uh, hopefully we'll get it. But uh, it's going to be a challenge. We'll probably have to... Oh, Jesus Christ. This, this is because I've been uh, shooting through a few matches. That's... Why I got a couple of losses, just game was going too fast. I'm gonna try something new. Now I've seen a couple of the YouTubers uh, using this, but um, I've never really used the 2D classic mode. Uh, I've liked the 3D mode, but uh, you can see the pitch a lot better, and there you go, Sigurdsson's opened the scoring against Brentford in the 6th minute, You well, it'll go down as the 7th, but uh, yeah, very good there, uh, if we can hold the hold the, uh, hold out for the victory today, then we should uh, be 
taking a nice comfortable position in the league. Now Sigurdsson's a very good striker and uh, I wouldn't surpri be surprised if he can grab another goal for us today. Now we're coming up to half time. Um, no players are really playing bad. Uh, all players are playing fairly good. Um, I think I'm going to have to say that you know, the job's not done. It really isn't and uh, I'm going to go for a bit of a higher tempo in the next half. So we're going to go out with the with this higher tempo and we're, we're going to go for a rigid though. So it might be a higher tempo but there's not going to be as many players going with the ball. This should this should make a big difference. You know, Sigurdsson should be able to make more space and cut through finer and well it should be better for the midfielders finding players now Hennessy brilliant save there uh, I can't believe Mikado beat us to the ball right so we need to make a change obviously because our central midfield is injured and Foley definitely the change to come on every time for that position due to being the only central midfielder there Nobody's playing badly, so we can just carry on. Brentford is really starting to force on us, as you can see on, on this bar. And Bakary Sacco has been yellow carded now. Corner comes in. Sacco gets away with that. Up to Sigurdsson now. The faster pace of the players. Sacco Foley can score here. Uh, he fluffs it but we've got a corner here we could make something of this uh, not this time but our corners have been quite good uh, our best set piece is is our free kicks for, from this side of the pitch uh, and it's not Sacco that's been the best at him either uh, Foley's been good uh, and that's it yeah Fo Foley's been taken Sacco's good from that side. Uh, he doesn't really score any, but uh, he does assist a few free kicks from that side. I'm on about over here where the free kick was just taken from. Hennessy's getting a lot, a lot of yellow cards lately. Uh, it's worrying. He might get a ban. He's coming a bit far out. Surely this has got to be cut out. Oof, Hennessy, well done there. And now we'll contain, we'll just defend, defend, defend and uh, hopefully we've secured this 1-0 win, win over Brentford which was an early goal by Sigurdsson. Now if you've got any tips or anything for me, anything you think I should try out, if there's anything you want to see on the game before you go out and buy it, Sigurdsson's got another goal and I said he would. Um, if there's anything on the game that you think I should try out then uh, if you leave it in the comments below or if you message me um, I can try it out. Also I'm not asking for subscribers but it would be lovely if I could build up the subscribers a bit more um, as I've had a lot of unsubscribers during the time between uh, my videos and then my new videos. So uh, we're back, we're, we're here fifth in the table, we're chasing though. Uh, we can push for third, but we've had 16 games, MK Don's on 17, so uh, we can really push on. If we get three points, then we're only one point behind, behind Sheffield. So, um, yeah, we're not doing bad, really. So we leave the game now, and uh, we're not doing bad in, in the league. Like I say, uh, we're definitely scoring more goals than conceding. You know, we're scoring more than conceding than uh, Sheffield United, Bristol City, MK Dons. But the best team in the season this season have been uh, right here, Brentford. Now, I'm, I'm just going to check a table for a second. What is this all about? Scunthorpe United, not doing very well at all. Uh, 17 games in. They need to be doing better. Uh... I'm from Scunthorpe, so I'm, 
I really want them to do better. Um, and they're just, they're lacking something, and I, I don't know what it is. Um, and I might do a challenge with Scunthorpe and try and get them back to the championship area, maybe even challenge for Premier League, but uh, it's a big challenge, isn't it? It's a big ask from a League Two team now. The reason that I went with Wolves is because, you know, I wanted to try and get a team that have been in the Premier League to bounce back and get back to the Premier League. And Wolves, they've won the Premier League like three times. So I thought that would be the best if I could get them back to the Premier League and win the title eventually. And uh, that is the challenge. And, well, we're in fifth position. 34 scored, 19 conceded. We've only lost one match in the last five games and we've won four. So uh, we're not doing bad. And I will see you tomorrow. Uh, my next uploads will be... Uh, there'll be another batch of uploads tomorrow but I will be uploading in batches when I can or maybe singles when I can uh, so uh, get liking guys and uh, see you next time